The Unforgivable is a story about a woman who was released back into society after having spent half her life in prison and the struggles that she faces as she attempts to rejoin a society that is not very forgiving. Sandra Bullock, as Ruth Slater, turns in a mostly believable portrayal of an ex-con, one that reflects the subtle and not so subtle behaviors that often result from an extended stay in the penitentiary. Here's a look at five of those behaviors. Number one, don't touch my stuff. Someone that has survived 20 years in prison is not going to tolerate someone going through her personal items, and particularly not someone she barely knows. Ruth catches a would-be thief and roughs her up just enough to deliver the message, keep your hands off my stuff, but not enough to get herself into any real trouble. Number two, respect my space. In the penitentiary, the shower is a vulnerable place to be. And in a halfway house, it's apparently not that much different. Ruth's overanxious housemate tries to invade the shower while she's using it. Which is a definite no-go. And then, violating a former convict's personal space, well, that's just not tolerated. Number three. Watch your back. This one is the reason for the mostly believable rating. Shortly after revealing the details of her imprisonment to a co-worker, Ruth gets caught slipping and gets sucker punched from behind by another one of her co-workers that heard about it. Now I'm sorry, but I find it hard to believe that someone fresh out the pen would just be sleepwalking around, not paying attention to her surroundings. Realistically, after spending two decades in prison, there is no way she'd have lost her edge after just a handful of weeks outside. Her head would be on a constant swivel for months, at the least. Number four, no snitching. After catching that beatdown as a result of her co-worker running his mouth at the job and telling Ruth's business, she didn't tell anyone about what happened. She took it like a G. And like the real one that she was, Ruth made it known that she wasn't having anything more to do with the guy that sold her out. Number five, taking the charge. The most gangster thing that Ruth Slater does actually comes before all the others. She took a murder charge for her little sister and then went and sat down for 20 years. She didn't moan or complain. In fact, she never said a word about it. She just carried the weight, wore the label, and let everyone think and say what they wanted about her. Because the love and loyalty she had for her sister was the only thing that mattered. If you enjoyed the video, consider hitting the subscribe button and click the notification bell for more content.